Key open data issue is the rights of indigenous people to control information uh, and data about themselves and their lands individually and collectively. This may be more broadly considered to be inclusive of the concepts of data, information and knowledge about indigenous individuals and collectives, their way of life, medicinal knowledge and practices, cultures, lands and resources. And we may see indigenous land data therefore in part to be related to attributes such as the location, the dimensions, the rights to use, cover, topography and other resources. Indigenous data sovereignty focuses not only on the above mentioned data issues, it also asks us to re-examine fundamental questions about power relations in land and data governance, both colonial and post-colonial. This shift towards more open land data is an opportunity for us to consider and respond to these dynamics, as well as using the concept of indigenous data sovereignty as a framework to increase equity and participation in the information ecosystem. We can renew the conversation about data stewardship and data governance, including the premise that indigenous communities, in, in fact, all communities, are entitled to determine how data about them and for their benefit is governed and managed. More awareness that data governance is not only limited to a single government actor, that opening up data is a process and that it is not a panacea for a range of land and data related problems allows the open data uh, movement to contribute to a roadmap for improved service delivery and policy making about land while protecting the land rights of the vulnerable and the marginalized. If data custodians, researchers, practitioners, uh, including the donor community, apply some of these ideas to a conversation about land and open data governance, we have and can avoid unintentionally co-opting indigenous data and knowledge and avoid removing indigenous people from these data governance processes and conversations. Open data advocates, I think, have to be informed about developments with regards to recognizing and formulating policies and principles about concerns from indigenous communities about their data sovereignty.